Alright guys, so um I'm gonna be showing you this. It's called MCPE Master, as you can tell right up there at the top. But basically what it is, sorry about the screen being sideways, you're gonna just have to look at that for a while. But basically what it is is it gives you the option for mods, it gives you seeds. There's texture packs, skins, and maps. I believe you can actually also, like, submit your own map seeds, skins, textures, and mods. So if you're into making them, go ahead. We need more mods on this. But I've already got some. And if you go here to import, you got, you can see what you have. I have all this. This is actually one I made myself. But this is one that I'll be playing soon here for a video. It's all in Spanish, which kind of bums me out, but what am I what am I saying? Bums me out, really? W whatever. But hopefully I'll be doing that and hopefully what's up 80 can get back to me and send me my intro soon. That way I can add it in and to add it into my own videos so yeah we we're supposed to put it in that escapist video but we didn't really want to mess with bandicut because the last time we did it we messed up our 30 minute video footage and changed it into four minutes but like there's the skins i'm using pink guy right now because why not I really would like to make my own skin. I think I'll look into that soon. But textures. I've got shaders ultra. I don't like it. I will say that. And I'm actually going to delete that one. And get back the shaders that I had. And you guys can see that. Seeds. I don't believe I have any. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. Then I have dynamic. And dynamic lights. And then the tree chopper mod. I will do a few videos on that. I'll just kind of get in and show you guys some of the features of this for right now. So I will see you guys whenever. Actually, no, I'm not going to stop it. Not that. Going home. Um. Oh, yeah, here. You can change all this. I'm just going to leave that on survival because I can change it in game and you guys will see that. And for right now, I'm going to change it to the text map. Do survival. Apply a third person. No, I don't care about third person invincibility. And then. Oh, I see. I see. I did never get into this. I've never been in here, but. These are all the things I guess you could give to your people who just come in. Alright. Alright, that's cool. I hit add. Oh, well, okay. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so. Is that mob? What's this? I can do that. Teleport. I can set certain things. Alright, that's cool. I didn't know that. And if you hear any background noise, that's my sister. But let's get into the game. That controller down there in the bottom in the middle, that's what you click on to get into your game. And I forgot to get my texture pack back. Okay. So I guess I can show you a quick little feature here. When you're on like this home menu, if you hit the back button, Playing on a Galaxy Core Prime. This is Android, I know, and Apple. They don't have it right now, but they might get it in the future. Um, I'm not going to click on rate it yet. But, or right now, I'm going to go and get texture. Go to hot. And I got, I had this one. So, the shaders packs that I've gotten... And this, oh, and you hit apply to put it in your game. You can also go start game from here. But the shaders packs that I've had, 
are kind of messed up with like the glass and the doors. They count that as like the trees, how the, like the trees will like wave in the wind. But yeah, click here, go here. Oh, okay. I am in third person. Give me a second. Back to first. Okay, well, look at the water. Looks pretty good. I don't know why my frame rate is so low. Good lord. Well, if you look, you can see the, like, the flowers waving and everything. The grass waves. And if you look, the trees might move. I know that they do move, but I don't know if they'll move right now. Alright, well, let me just show you some of these features that this has. You click on that pickaxe up there, you can change your level. I believe it goes up to 2,000 is the highest. Oops. Oh, yeah, and you can move this around. Just going to move that right there. Alright. Change it to fly. Invincible. You can turn it on and off. Sprint. If you choose sprint, walking is your normal, like, Minecraft sprinting. We get... Good lord, the frame rate. I am so sorry. It's not usually like this, even when recording. Well... This is, like, just, like, tapping it once. If I were to double tap, it's really fast. Oh, and I didn't realize I tapped that twice. Alright, well... That's sprint. Dang it, click on it. Alright, that's sprint. Do not mess with no clip. If I turn it on, it teleports me over here and then turn it off and it puts me in the ground and it will it will lag out your game. I'm assuming protect item and level just basically like I'm assuming that that pretty much like if you die it gives you back your items and your level. Or, like, it makes it so nobody else can pick it up. I don't know. And there's the game. You can change it from survival to creative. Yeah, and then you, like, you can lock the time. You can set the time to, like, there's morning, noon, sunset, and night. I'm going to leave it at noon. Sunset looks pretty good. Um, turn on rain, turn it off, turn on lightning, turn it off. There's a mini map, I'll show you that in a second. And you can, this show HP is here. Let me see if I can, oh, there's, there's a pig. Look it. If I put, like, my thing on the pig, it shows me how much health that pig has. All right. So, this is the mini-map. You can zoom in, and it shows you, um, the white is other people. The green is animals, and... Animals, and what is that there? Is it the pig? I think it is, yeah. The green is animals and villagers. So... Cool. This is as far as you can zoom out. Zoom in as much as you can. That's as far as you can zoom in. So, yeah. And then... Get in here. There's friends. This only works with a local, uh, local multiplayer game. I believe you can actually get into servers with this, but I, 
you might be banned from that server after because I guess this could technically be considered hacking. It's not, but kind of, I guess. Then there's enchant. You can, if you do infinite level. So, apparently, like, right now, I guess because I'm, like, not by books or whatever, it only allows you to... Um, get up to level 5, but if you do infinite level, you can click on or off on the ones you want. Like, let's say I didn't want smite there, or I wanted to decrease my smite, do that, and then I can increase it back up to level 100. If I turn that off, it's level 5 and none of them are selected. Let's say I did this wanted all of this I just add and then the item is in my inventory Let's find a pig here the infinite level diamond sword is um very OP like this has looting on it so yeah, let's see how many pork chops we get from this. J just that one pig. Alright, now. Let's see. 43. That's a little OP. And if you guys, I don't know if you guys can, but I can tell that, like, the numbers and some of the letters are different from normal Minecraft, which that's good because... Like, this game is basically launching its own Minecraft. Here, let me show you. If I do this, the regular Minecraft isn't open. I don't even think you need regular Minecraft to play this game. Maybe you do. I might actually test that. Like, uninstall Minecraft since I already have it bought. Then try and open this game. So if you can, that's a way to get free Minecraft moddable. And whatever. So, not exactly sure how long I've been recording for. 12 minutes and 28 seconds. Alright. So that is the, like, the enchant. This item, you can give yourself something. And whatever. Like your favorite. Redstone. Or you can search it. Let's say I wanted... There. Let's say I wanted a glass pane. I did, that's not how you spell glass pane, is it? You gonna load? I didn't think it was. How do you spell that kind of... Oh, okay, I know, I know, I know. I think. I think I know. Glass pane? Maybe? Yeah, okay. So I wanted an entire stack of glass panes. Here. Don't know why it's been so laggy. There's my entire stack. Okay. And, um. The mobs, you can spawn in certain mobs. Say I wanted. 64 bats. Um. I wanted, uh, let's see, I wanted 64 bats and where's the bunny, rabbits, and silverfish. Okay, look at that, that, that should lag my game extremely bad. Like, oh my god. That's bad. Alright, and there's teleport. Like, you can set your spawn point. Let's say I set this as my spawn point. Is it set? Alright. Oh my god. Looting. Good lord. 
let's see, I set my spawn point. Went way over here. Open this again. And back. And I'm back. Good lord, look at the mini-map. Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're doing up there. Look at that, that's freaking crazy. Okay, that was teleport, and then last is you can screenshot, and like you can hide your GUI. You can a quick screenshot which quick screenshot brings up this camera if you tap on the mini map it minimizes that quick screenshot you just tap it cancel that and then let's say click here if I didn't want to hide my GUI a quick screenshot and it has my GUI and then if you don't do that you can go a quick screenshot and it does that so um that will be it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed like um I uh, look forward to some more videos involving MCPE Master. And real quick before I end this, I will show you guys how to get MCPE Master. Alright, so here, you want to get on the Play Store. I'm going to turn this sideways so it's better for you guys. You're going to search um, MCPE Master. Master for Minecraft, right here. And then, there you go. I already have it. So there's all that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, um, comment, and if you're not already, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.